1719 a girl named Nera lives in Great Plains with her tribe. She has a dog named Sari. She is trained as a healer, but also she practices aiming with axe as she wants to become a great hunter like her brother, Tabe. While training she sees tracks of a deer and chases the deer to hunt it. Her aim misses because of the loud noise of an alien spaceship and the deer starts running away. While chasing the deer, Sari's tail gets stuck into a trap. She frees Sari and treats its wound. She hears the loud sound again and sees a spaceship coming down the sky which she likens to a thundering eagle. Later, she is with her brother, hunting an eagle. She tells him that she saw a thunderbird this morning and she picks that for her Kutamiya, the big hunt, to get tribe honor. He doesn't think that she is ready. Then she goes to her mother to help her prepare medicines. Nero's mother asks her, why do you want to hunt when there are many other things to do? Nero replies, because you all think that I can't hunt. Meanwhile, her brother brings a red tail eagle which her mother appreciates. Then she sends her to get some orange tootsie for the medicine. In mountains, an alien predator comes out of a spaceship to find and hunt the most dangerous beast on earth. Nero collects orange tootsie and is returning to the village when she sees tribes hunters are going to retrieve a wounded hunter attacked by a mountain lion. She also wants to come with them, but they denied it. Then Nero's brother decides to take her along as she tracks well and is a medic. On the other side of the jungle, the predator kills a snake and separates its skin. Meanwhile, tribe hunters find some trails of the mountain lion and after some chasing, they find the wounded hunter. Nero treats the wounds and others prepare a stretcher to take the hunter back to the tribe. Nero also gives him Tutsia to slow his blood flow which stops bleeding. Tabe decides to stay back and hunt the lion. On the way to tribe, Sari finds a dead snake without skin and a giant footprint. She tells other hunters about this, but they ignore it saying it can be a bear. But she is not satisfied with the way the snake is skinned and the footprints which are bigger than a bear. Nero leaves to inform her brother and Paka also goes with her. She tells her brother about the predator's tracks and he tells her that they will deal with the cat first then we will see whatever is it. Then Tabe decides to be the bait and let Nero hunt the lion, telling her that it's time for her Kutamiya. Nero and Paka are waiting on a tree and Tabe is setting a trap for the lion. But the lion suddenly attacks Paka and kills him. Lion then gets up on the tree to kill Nero. Lion corners Nehru and she also gets distracted by strange light and noises. The lion attacks her, she injures the lion with her spear but falls down and gets unconscious. She wakes up in her hut and finds that Tabe carried her home. Her mother tells her to rest while Tabe is out to hunt the lion. Nehru tells that something else is out there and Tabe needs her help. Nero's mother tells her to stop and advises her that the reason for Kutamiya is not to prove that you can hunt, the only reason is to survive. Meanwhile, Tabe comes back carrying the dead lion. Tabe earns the title of war chief and everybody celebrates his achievement. She tells Tabe about the lights and tells him there is a greater threat, but Tabe doesn't listen to her. In the morning Nero leaves with Sari to hunt the predator and show them that she was right. On the other side, a wolf is hunting a rabbit and the predator picks a fight with the wolf. Wolf bites him and he tosses him away. Wolf attacks again, but he kills him in a second and takes out his head as a trophy. While hunting rabbits with her axe, Nera feels that she needs to alternate her weapon for quick response so she makes a rope to keep her axe connected to her while hunting. Then she practices perfecting the troll with the rope tied to it and later hunts a lot of rabbits. She spends the night in mountains and the next morning continues her chase. In a cave, the predator is melting the flesh of the wolf's head and takes the skeleton as a trophy. The predator hears Sari barking and gets ready to hunt. While chasing the predator, Nehru finds a dead herd of bisons with their skins peeled off. She finds a cigar near one of the bison. She puts a leaf on it and prays for them and starts moving forward to look for the predator. Predator is also finding Nehru and Sari to hunt them. 
While finding the predator, Nera gets stuck in a mud-filled bog pit. She starts sinking inside the mud-filled bog pit. After a few tries, she nearly survives when her axe is stuck into a wrecked tree. She gets out of the bog pit and washes herself and her weapons with water. The predator also comes across the death herd of bison. He finds traps, a cigar, and the leaf left by Nura. Nura finds the bear eating a deer. She tries to hunt the bear with her bow and arrow, but the bowstring breaks and the bear attack her. Sari distracts the bear when he chases him while Nera fixes her bowstring. She shoots the bear with an arrow and starts running to escape. She hides under a beaver dam. Bear tries to break it but the predator arrives there and the bear starts fighting him instead. At first, the bear injures the predator a little but then he knocks out the bear with one punch. Then he lifts the bear into air and kills him. Nera sees the predator covered in blood and runs away from there getting scared. The predator sees Nero escaping. Nero swims away and runs into the group of her tribe's hunter which her brother sent to look for her. She tells them about the predator but they don't believe her. As she tries to leave, they fight her and tie her up, taking her to the tribe. While resting for water, the predator finds them. The predator uses his spear gun to kill the hunter. Others get alert. Nero asks them to free her, but they don't listen to her. While the predator retrieves his spear, the hunters shoot him. He gets angry and screams loudly. Two hunters surround the predator and attack him. He tosses one hunter away and fights with the other hunter with his spear. Meanwhile, Nero tries to retrieve her axe from the dead hunter. The predator cuts the hunter's arm and separates his head from his body. The other hunter attacks the predator from behind and the predator tosses him again while Nera sets herself free. The predator cuts the hunter's legs and kills him. Nera sees them and runs away while the predator chases him. A hunter pulls Nero down in the bushes. He gets ready to shoot the predator with the arrow. The predator tracks him and targets him with a laser. Nera saves him and they start running to save their lives. The predator catches the hunter and kills him while Nero keeps running. Then the predator starts chasing Nero to kill her also. While running from the predator, Nero gets caught in a foothold trap. The predator sees her trapped and leaves her as she is no longer a threat. Meanwhile, French voyagers, who killed the bison's herd, arrive there and knock her out to later interrogate her believing she saw the predator. She wakes up and finds herself trapped in a cage. They also captured her dog, Sari. The head Frenchman sends Raphael, their translator, to question Nero about the predator. He tells her that the predator is a hunter, looking for the strongest beast. She refused to talk and the head takes her brother out of a cage in anger. Then he cuts Tabe to bleed. And tied both siblings to a tree as baits for the predator. Tabe asks her sister, were you tracking the predator which Frenchmen are trying to capture? And is it your Kutamiya? She laughs in pain and says yes. Meanwhile, hidden Frenchmen are waiting for the predator to come. The predator attacks them from behind and starts killing them. Tabe sees the predator and thinks that he is coming for them, but Nera denies saying that he won't hunt the baits thinking they are not a threat. Then Tabe tells her that he killed the lion because she weakened it. The predator screams after getting in the foothold trap and the Frenchmen start attacking him. They think they capture him, but the predator gets up and starts killing the Frenchman. With his latest technology and his greatest strength, he overpowers them easily. They try to shoot him, but he covers with his shield. While the predator enjoys killing the Frenchman, Nera sees a foot trap and sets themselves free using it. Tabe goes to get them horses, and Nero goes to save Sari. The other Frenchmen start shooting the predator from many directions. He activates some alien weapon and starts running away from there. The Frenchmen see the weapon with curiosity while the head runs away, and the weapon gets activated and starts killing everyone there. Nero arrives at the Frenchmen's camp where the left Frenchmen are getting ready to leave the place, and they decide to kill Sari since they like dog meat. 
Nero starts attacking them to save Sari. She retrieves her axe and kills them all quickly. Then she frees Sari and tells her to find and bring Tabe. In the jungle, everyone is dead the predator is healing himself while in the camp Nehru is treating her wound. Badly injured Raphael asks Nehru for medical treatment in exchange for his pistol. Nehru separates the alien weapon from his severed leg and then applies some medicine there. Raphael teaches her how to use the gun. Raphael tells it hurts then she gives him orange tootsie which lowers his blood flow and he starts feeling freezing cold. Nero hears the predator coming and hides behind a tree while Raphael plays dead. The predator doesn't see Raphael as he is not getting any heat signature from him. Nero realizes that it is because of Tutsia. Then Raphael screams when the predator steps on him and he kills him. Sari comes there barking and he targets him with the laser to shoot with his spear gun. As he is about to shoot Sari, Tabe attacks him, separating his mask. He shoots but misses, and Nero realizes that the laser guides the spear. She gets her gun ready to shoot but it misfires. She screams to distract the predator while Tabe hurts him badly with his own spear. She again prepared the gun while Tabe is fighting with the predator. Tabe is too much to handle for the predator so he gets invisible using its mask. Both siblings are alert, but Tabe hears a sound from behind and tells Nero to run. He tells her to bring it home, and then Predator wound him badly with his claws. Then it comes to kill Nero, and Tabe distracts it one last time to give Nero a chance to escape. The other horsemen return to the tribe to inform them about Tabe's death. Nero sees the Frenchman's head who luckily survived. She makes a plan and knocks him out. At night she cuts his leg with the alien's weapon and burns huge fire to attract the predator. The Frenchman head wakes up screaming in pain. He gets his gun to shoot her but doesn't know that she already emptied it. She eats Tootsie to hide her body's temperature and the predator arrives there unable to see her thinking that Frenchman is trying to shoot him. The predator separates its head and Nehru shoots him from behind and runs away with its mask. She sets traps and sets his mask in a position so it will aim at the predator stuck in the bog pit. She left traces to lure the predator into the mud-filled bog pit using the severed leg of the Frenchman. After seeing the leg, he figures out that it's a trap. Nero jumps from a tree branch and attacks him. He throws her away and is about to kill you with his spear. Sari comes there and saves Nero. Nero runs from there and the Predator starts chasing her and gets hurt by her traps. Predator's arm gets stuck in a tree while attacking Nero, his arm gets sliced while shielding Nero's attack. He gets very angry and starts attacking Nero wildly. She dodges and hurts him badly. He screams loudly, she gets her roped axe with the help of Sari and ties the Predator with it and pulls it into the bog pit. The stuck predator tries to shoot Nehru with his spear gun, unknown to the fact that his mask is targeting laser on himself. He shoots the spear and it misses Nehru and hits his own head causing his death. The next morning, Nehru came back to her tribe with the predator's head in her hand and her face painted in predator's blood. She gives the head and the pistol to Chief Kihitu and tells him that this place is dangerous and they need to move to easier protected ground. They declare Nehru a war chief in honor of her victory. They all get happy and celebrate her victory. In the end, we see three Predator spaceships coming down from the sky and hope there will also be the next part. So subscribe to my channel to also see that when it comes.